<laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Plicka. I'm Jerome. And I'm Nick. And today we're talking about Narcos Mexico episode 8, Just Say No. What a cool way to start out the episode. It was pretty it's cool. Just them just instantly getting right into them taking down the field. Yeah. I uh, For some reason, I didn't expect... Uh, I expected there to just be work workers there. Like maybe if, I didn't expect it to be like a gunfight like that. Oh, I totally did. I didn't. You, I like I. That just made sense to me because like they're not gonna let them take down the field. Well, not that they were gonna. And like it, you would need military to take down that much of the weed. Oh, I expected it on their so, side. So I just didn't expect that. I guess I expected them to give up easier. Like I didn't expect. Oh, uh, I I didn't, but Ralph, be, be, like, because it's Rafa there, yeah. I totally expected that. I didn't expect him. And he just shit. lost his shit shooting everybody, throwing his gun, beating guys with his guns. It was really cool. God, that one guy he beat, he like, he like about the 10th time he hit him in the face, I was like, oh, you might want to pick up the other gun. And then he picked up his gun and shot him a little bit, and yeah. then he went up, shot some more in that tower. Like, it, it was really cool. I liked, too, how like it was kind of focusing on Kiki going through there. And like you see the other people a little bit, and then yeah, it switches yeah. to Rafa as he's shooting at Kiki. Yeah. And you see the other guys like in the background some. But it, it, it was really cool how they shot that. Yeah, and and all that, he still wouldn't have got away if it wasn't for his buddies. Yeah. You know? I, I actually kind of thought when he's running through the field there that that was and he was just him. losing his mind, I was like, oh, this might be where he either gets taken down or killed. I wasn't sure which one they were going to do. Right. But then he got rescued by his little buddies on the quad, by yeah. Chapo and the other guy. Yeah. But yeah, I, I really liked it, and they burned it down. And then after they get it to, they cut in some real footage of yeah people are taking it down. I thought that was really cool. Yeah, it was... <sighs> I did like the way they did it too. There was a lot of scenes like that this episode I noticed that were that I don't know if I just noticed it this episode and I just haven't been paying attention as well, but the like like they were talking to Kiki, he was talking to someone and like the scene he was only like in the picture in the far left and there was Oh like, yeah, they did that a lot this episode. Yeah. It kinda bothered me that. Oh really? Because like usually like they like center them. Yeah. But whenever they like especially and uh, they did a lot when it was him and James talking. Mm. he'd be in the very left of the screen with a ton of like open space and then they'd cut to James and he'd be in the far right at the time. Yeah. Like it was I was like, okay that that's kinda neat once. But the fourth or fifth time they did it, I was like, I don't know why it just bugged the shit out of me that they kept oh, doing really? that. See, I liked it. Yeah. So. I um I thought it was different. It was neat. It was like It was different, but I was like I don't I don't know why it just bugged me. And like like I liked the when they put when they take him at the end and they put the thing uh, over his yeah. head and then you can see his th- through like his eyes a bit. Yeah, I liked that. It's funny because so they get into that late in like the towards the end of the episode they talk about like oh we're gonna go take him down and figure out what he knows. Yeah, and I was like oh fuck I forgot this should started out with him getting kidnapped. Yeah. So then I was like oh well I know it's gonna happen and then um. Felix is like, no, I'm not going to do it. And I was like, I got a feeling it's going to happen. <laughs> yeah, you know, I was like, well, what the? I, so then I thought they just, I thought that cop went on his own at first. And, yeah, and, and then, then they go around, they go behind his back and go to Rafa. Yeah. Which, his stuff was pretty interesting this episode. He's fucking crazy. He turned into a teenage girl fucking having a crush on a pop star, putting stuff all over his room and like cutting out shit and he's trying to get off coke and then they're like yeah, putting the coke in his coffee to give it to him and he almost kills his friend. Then he starts having a fucking weird dream where he's chasing that girl through tunnels and then through the weed field and also in the shower. I was afraid. That was so weird. I was really afraid what we were going to wake up to when he woke up from that dream. Luckily, he was Oh, because he was really walking, so you thought he was going to, like, it was me, one of his buddies in the shower? I just thought he was going to be doing something in the shower that we didn't want to be seeing. Oh, no. See, I, I just thought he was dreaming, and then they woke him up in the shower, and I was like, this fool needs to like. Well, I, like I didn't realize he was gonna actually be in the shower, but I. We had any. That's why I thought he was gonna be in bed. I yeah, like jerking off or something, and oh. just like and they're like, "Hey, wake up!" And I was like, "Oh God, I don't want to." And then he's just in the shower, like yeah, he's shower. he's losing his mind. And he goes through all that shit, and then the guy gives him some coke at the end, anyways. Yeah, I was like, "What are you doing?" <laughs> like, yeah, it's, but he goes through all that pain, and you'd be like, "Well, it's worth it in the end," because I'm gonna get up. I'm not gonna be addicted to coke anymore. And I'll be clear. And then he's like. No, nah, just make the pain go away. Just give me some yeah. coke. Like, I was like, what the fuck? Um, I really thought while all that was happening is like he's lucky that that guy liked him so much because I there's no way I could sit through all that stuff that he was going Oh, through. his buddy? Yeah, like he almost shot him. Yeah, I think once, once it very gets to the point where the guy you're trying to get off drugs aims a gun at your head, Yeah, that might be where you maybe put him in some professional treatment. <laughs> or just, you know, you're on your own, pal. Yeah. I'm trying to help you out, and you aim a gun to my face? 
You can get a cook by yourself. Because he very easily could have shot him and not even, like, meant to. He wouldn't to. have cared. Or, either. Or, or meant to. He might have cared later. Maybe. Maybe. But, yeah, his stuff was so weird. It's so interesting. And at the same time, he's so annoying, too. I really want him to... I really want th- him to... Something bad to happen to him now. Oh, I think something will. I, uh, I kind of hope so. Because so he's fucking everything up. So, Kiki's kidnapped. Yes. Is there any possible way this doesn't end in him dying i feel like it has to end in him dying a- and with, with him not dying oh I, f- I feel like it has to end with him dying because really? e- either he doesn't give them information and they kill him mm-hmm. or he does give them information and they go oh, well he knows this much let's kill him i feel like there's no way that he gets out of that alive like i i can't think of and w- unless maybe James and the rest of the DEA crew that hasn't gone away mm-hmm. save him, which I doubt they will. The only reason I don't think he dies is because I it's don't Michael Pena. No, uh. I mean, no, I don't think he's the. Uh, you know, I think Michael Pena is capable of dying. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, we all are. Well, yeah, but I feel like the story's about him and Felix, mm-hmm. and I don't feel like his story's over yet. So I feel like. Maybe I'm completely wrong. Maybe he just fucking... See, I, I was thinking, when I saw that, I was like, oh, maybe he dies here, and that's what kicks off things because they killed a DEA agent. And then that's, it, what, and it, that's what makes... Because then they said, we're not going to act at this time when the, the investigators came and t- and like took all their shit. Maybe Kiki dying is like, okay, well, now they've gone too far. Uh, Maybe. I just, I just don't think he... I think something's going to... I don't know what happens, mm-hmm. obviously, and we could just very easily look it up. Yeah. But I haven't, and I don't think he's going to. But I, c- I could be well, wrong. It'll be interesting to see which one. Of I mean, us I'm is not. Right. I'm definitely not a hundred percent either way, which mm-hmm. is great. I tell you, this is the first episode when it ended. You're like, fuck. Can I just turn on the next one? Can we do two episodes this yeah, time? Yeah, I was <laughs> like, oh my god, I don't. I want. I need to watch another no, one. Lu- luckily, we should finish this. If everything goes right, we should finish this by Sunday with our videos. Yeah. Um, I, I can't wait to watch the next one and do it. That'd be cool. Oh yeah, no, me too, totally. Like I wanted to watch it today, and I, but we just didn't have time. Yeah, I. I do think he's gonna die, but I, th- I I would be happy if he doesn't. But I just think he might. When when they were doing that and they cut to his wife, at first I thought they were together, and I was like, oh god, they're gonna kidnap him and kill his wife, and oh, shit's gonna go all downhill. But uh, then she was just waiting for him, and I was like, oh thank god, at least she's good. Yeah, I knew well because she said that he said earlier that they're going to lunch. So I knew he said he was meeting him for lunch. So I knew she wasn't there. So. Mm-hmm. But well, I, I just thought like they were skipping to where he was like at the restaurant and uh, he was like going back to the car or something. That's uh, what I thought was happening, and then I was like, oh, "Okay, no, it's two separate things." Thank God. Oh uh, yeah, I, that never occurred to me. So. Um, I was a little disappointed because, like, I know that cop guy that's working with the Don, he he did kill that guy last episode for him, but like, he seems to, like now want to do that shit a mm. little bit, and then he's like, "Hey, Kiki," and then he's like, "Oh, hey, Sammy." I was like, "Oh, shit's going against Kiki." Yeah. Like I don't know why I thought someone would be up for that guy. Like maybe he'd be good, yeah. but now he's just a corrupt cop. It's funny because he's. So he knows him. So if he does make it through, he knows that he helped him. Yeah, which could be another reason not to let him go either. Yeah. I didn't think about that. Uh, what did you think about, I don't know the pilot's name, but him and Don Pablo together this episode? That that was interesting. Like I, Did you think it, when they were going there and he said, well, if it's the end for me, it's the end. Like, who, like let's just go for it. Did you think they were going to be the Americans waiting for him? No, I, for some reason... For a I'm second, when, when they said that, I thought that. And uh, I was like, oh, they didn't show that side, so probably not. I um, I thought those guys were telling the truth because I thought they were just afraid of, 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 of the him? Don. Yeah. Um, and it was such a stupid story that it had to be true almost. Yeah. It was way, way too specific. And, and then, and then he, was, and he was saying stuff that, like, he said some shit in the, co- in the truck that made you think. You're like, oh, well, he's not that bad. Like, he wants money and stuff. But he yeah, and he says he cares for the people more yeah, than yeah, that he, and all he, that. It's, yeah. it's almost like he, um, like he thought Felix was different. And, like, and then it cuts to Felix, you know, and I'm like, well, Felix seems different. Um, yeah. I don't know. Like, I, so I, I, I never really thought. I thought the truck was going to be there. I didn't know what to expect once they got there. Yeah, I didn't think anything of it. And then when he mentioned that, I was like, oh, maybe. But I was like, probably not, because I feel like we would have saw a quick scene of them setting that guy up. Yeah, that's true. And then I, I like, too, at the end, when uh, Felix is waiting to go on the phone to hear about Kiki, 
um, we get a quick little glimpse of him on the phone with that guy, and you can yeah. barely hear it, but he's like saying, oh, this guy's a genius. We're going to hide the drugs and like their gas tanks and all that. And I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah, I thought that was cool, too. They were like, he went down there to talk him out of stuff, and he actually got an idea from him. Yeah. And I was like, oh, that's cool. Yeah, I really like, I like how we got to go know that guy a little more, because we barely saw him in that one episode a little bit. Like, yeah. He just kind of seemed like a tough asshole, kind of. Yeah, he he was the one he turned in the be- in the beginning to help start all this stuff. And then... Yeah. And then the last meeting, he was against him. He was against him, and he said, "Well, if you like it, get the fuck out." Yeah. Obviously, he didn't get the fuck out because he still wants his coke. Yeah. So, but, but it was a really good episode. Yeah, I, I can't wait to finish this. Yeah. It'll it'll be really good. But uh, any anything else you want to say about this episode? Anything else we didn't uh, cover? I don't. Th- I think we covered it all. I think we did too. It it was it was really good. That that ending, I was waiting for something bad to happen. But then I was like, no, they gotta keep it going. But I, uh, I was I just fig- so nervous. I figured it was gonna end as soon as, as soon as they made eye contact. I thought it was gonna end. So even when he says begin, I was like, oh. And then it, and then it went to uh, black. And I was yeah, like, all right. yeah. But alright, that's it for this video. Please like, subscribe, comment down below your thoughts on Narcos Mexico so far, and also comment down below any type of videos you'd like to see from us in the future. And we'll see you guys next time for Narcos episode nine. I think Michael Pena is capable of dying. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>